Since returning from the Bahamas, we've embodied the nomad lifestyle, cruising the southeast and surfing couches of friends and family along the way. And after seven stops in just as many weeks, we finally settled down in our old stomping grounds. So we've been in Atlanta for about two months now, visiting friends and family, and it's been a lot of fun, but it's time to head back. Really miss the boat. I'm really excited for a sail to Charleston, but we gotta go get a car so we can head back to Brunswick. No car share ride these days would be complete without masking it up. Walking down the avenue where we used to play. The house on the corner is still the same today as it was when we were children. Innocent as innocent can be. I borrowed all your records, you borrowed mine from me. We sat and talked for hours in a box hung in a I am staying far away from the check-in counter because the last time that I went up to a check-in counter with any of my filming equipment, I was asked to leave, even though it wasn't even turned on. So, I'm hanging out over here, and we'll be in our car soon. I had to come to the airport because getting a one-way rental to the middle of nowhere, South Georgia, is pretty difficult. So the little local shops that were all around our little Airbnb, none of them wanted to give us a one-way rental. It's kind of funny that you forget about just how convenient life is when you have a car and how completely inconvenient it can be when you don't. In our day-to-day -day life in Atlanta, we never used a car. We walked pretty much everywhere we wanted to go, but that is just not the reality when you are moving four hours um, in between lodging. Ooh, flight. So, on our way down here, we had a massive truck, but there are no trucks available on the way back. So we have this little car and I'm pretty worried about being able to fit everything in it. And we actually picked up a couple of things that are very exciting. Take a look. I don't know anything about these bikes. They were highly recommended online, but I don't even care. I'm just so excited to have a bike so that I can get someplace without having to walk there. The moon twinkled high in the southern sky, and it was good, good, good. Now the honeymoon's over, it just up and died, but it was good, good, good. All the good times and the bad. To my parking day! The best times I ever had. The choice between happy and sad. I'm gonna see if I can do it better than you did. Been working out. Oh, that's garbage. <laughs> that's garbage. That was complete luck of the draw, but that's funny. You're gonna look like a little weenie. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I might have been able to get it out of the box, but I've been taken off bike building duty due to my inability to get it unfolded. <laughs> good, good. But you lost the grip on Guys, things have not improved much. So we did it once successfully. So I know we know how to follow instructions. So that leads me to believe that there's something wrong with the bike. The best times I ever had. The choice between happy and sad. Haha, oh, it'll work now. Do you feel accomplished? I do. I fixed it. While I am super pumped to have bikes, I'm a little worried about fitting them along with all the rest of our stuff in this tiny Camry. So it's time to play some Tetris. Catch a riding high up on the waves down in Newport, California. You might catch her in Manhattan taking names, talking tough like a New York. 
this just might work. I know there's one really big thing left, and it's the dog stairs. But I think we're gonna get everything. You guys get to come too. Feel packed? I feel very crammed. Yeah. Is, is that what you're asking? Yes. <laughs> it was much more spacious in the truck. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this queen getting a bed. She would like to think a lot of things. You might catch her driving east across the plains, passing Tulsa. I think it's safe to say that everyone is ready to get out of this car. Catch her flying west over the states to a home in a half a mile, slight right on the Bay Street. You might catch her hunting treasure out in Spain, searching castles. I mean, I knew it was there because we checked on it with the marina office, but gotta say, just had a huge sigh of relief to actually see it there. We have no idea what to expect. We've never left the boat for any period of time. We had the marina check in on it, but just really unsure of what we're gonna find. Train. Um, fingers crossed that there is no mold, that there weren't any bad leaks, that there are just no bugs, but the air conditioner kept up. Could be a lot of things wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so nervous. We'll find out. Okay. I can hear the air conditioner. Visual inspection out here. Let her run the race. If she fails, make it a She's definitely gonna need a bath. But other than that, looks pretty good from the outside. Let's check it out. Ooh, feels like things are working in here. Mmm, smells like a boat. But it doesn't smell like a bad boat. It just smells like a boat. I mean, it looks great in here. I am I'm excited very happy so far. Everything looks dry and just the way we left it. Now we're gonna run around and check everything. Wow! It looks great. We were told to like leave everything kind of open so that we could get airflow. So everything's kind of torn apart, but everything looks great. I feel one, like we'll be able to get moved back in within like a couple hours. One thing we need to check. What? The leak. Okay. So I don't know the last time it rained down here in Brunswick, but this is incredibly dry. Still looks like hell because there's been a lot of damage before we were able to get the leak fixed. But now that we know that we don't need to clean up anything in here, we can go ahead and get unpacked and start bringing our stuff back on board. Those were the times Those were the waves. So One of the first challenges is going to be figuring out so where in the world we put those bikes. I have a couple of ideas. And we knew this was going to be a problem when we ordered them because the most likely place to store them would have been or in front of our shower where we just put a washer and dryer. So we're going to figure out where we put these and then we're done. I mean, who doesn't have bicycles in their guest head, right? I think we're eventually put these in the lazarette on the bow, but right now it's full with a spinnaker that we are actually looking to sell. So for now, they'll stay in here and after we sell it, we can move them to their permanent home. So take me back. 
Oh my gosh, it's, it's everywhere. It's there, it's there, up there is. So we lucked out with the inside of the boat looking perfect when we got back, but the outside looks pretty terrible. Uh, it sat here for two months without having anybody clean it. Um, so yeah, there is bird poop, there is green mold, there is dirt, there's everything kind of build up all over the boat. So gotta clean her up. Take me back. Take me back. So, it took us about an hour to wash the boat and uh, get rid of the last two months of sin. We did get the bottom cleaned by the uh, marina, but they didn't have anybody that could detail it for us while we were away. So we were really rolling the dice, hoping that it wouldn't be too bad, and honestly, it's fine. Uh, we'll probably find a way to get uh, a coat of wax down here soon, and yeah, just for two completely inexperienced people that had no idea what they were doing to leave their boat, I could not be happier.